Spins. What is up? This is Brainwash coming back at you once again. Another new week. I'm your host, Bo Cole. Now, this is the show where we take college students, pit them together, have them <coughs> battle it out over questions concerning pop culture, current events, trivia, whatever else we want to throw at them. And the two people who can survive the first two rounds face the ultimate challenge and go up against me to see what they really know. Jen, my lovely co-host, how are you today? Tremendously well, though. Yeah, you a big Flyer fan? I'm a big hockey fan. My yeah. friends and I, we all like hockey. Do you so up? Do somebody, you... So one of our contestants, they loaned me the shirt to wear. Yeah? Hockey fan. Speaking of our yeah. contestants, I think we're going to have a wild show today. I just kind of got that feeling. I can, uh, yeah. I, think I can tell. I think they're a little nutty. They're a little, they're, they're a little boncos. But uh, why don't you, uh, you want right, to introduce um, them? Well, we'll introduce them. First off, they are a... Uh, Phillies fan over here. We got Jason. Jason, I don't like the Phillies. Huh? Nothing. Why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm Jason. I'm from Pickerington, Ohio. I like to take long walks on the beach and take candlelight dinners out with my dates. By yourself? Oh, with dates. Like with candlelight dates. dinner picnics? Yeah, and Is take you? them out on the beach. Ooh. You have a lot of beaches Maybe. in Pickerington? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> we'll be giving yeah. that number out after the show. Oh. Mm -hmm. Whoa. There's a nice I little beach by a pond. I wasn't already attached. That would be a nice thing to do. That's a good gesture. All there right? you go. Girls fall for that. Yeah. All right. Next up in the middle, our 76ers fan. We got Keith. Keith? I'm Keith Howard. I'm from Niles, Ohio. I personally like to take nobody out on dates. I just like to watch the 76ers play all the time. Even in the off season, I watch all their games repeatedly. Diehard fan, huh? Yes. That's great. Speaking Dedication. Dedication. It's a good That's quality. That's the key. It's a good quality. All right. Last up, uh, <laughs> we have Nick. Nick. Big Nick. If you could speak over the loudness of your shirt, go ahead and tell us about yourself. Um, I'm Nick Belch, and I'm from Camden, Ohio, and I'm a member of the Humans and Communication RLC, and I like swimming, and I like... Uh, Competitive swimming or just swimming in general? Just like swimming. Okay. And I, I love my grandma. Oh, oh isn't that, that is, nice? That is really, really sweet. Uh, uh, Nick, where'd too, you Nick. get that outfit, man? I mean, all, um, all you guys, this is like part of your regular wardrobe or um, your mom picked this out for you or what? Nick's grandma gave me this. Oh, she did? Yeah. yeah. She's after, a big Philly after fan. After what a beach. nice grandma you have. She hemmed my shorts for me. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. That is great. That is really you know what? Uh, we are going to be right back. We're going to start round one. Got a new show of Brainwash. You guys stick around, stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Brainwash. Hey guys, Jen here, and I got Leon to give us the first of three brain teasers for today. What city on planet Earth is visible from space? Visible from space. It's kind of tricky. Why don't you guys think about that? We'll be right back with the answer. When you buy disposable and overpackaged products for your home, you're really saying, hmm, I'm fine with depleting natural resources. Pollute our air and water. Energy, wasted. People tell you, hey, go for less packaging. Check out reusables. Buy stuff in bulk. Well, you tell them, no thanks. I'd rather throw it all away. Buy smart, waste less, save more. I hang out with a pretty trashy circle. The circle that helps this circle by recycling trash. We sort glass, plastic, separate cans, stack newspapers and magazines. Now, thanks to us, there are lots of products made from things we've already recycled. This cereal box wants your Sunday paper. These paper clips, in a more daring life, a 56 convertible. The circle works like this. It starts when we recycle trash at home and at work. It's completed when we buy products made from or packaged in recycled materials. How do you know the difference? Check the label for something called post-consumer recycled content. It looks like this. Make a mental note. Then buy the highest percentage of it you can find. You'll save a tree, you'll save energy, and in your own way, you'll help save the world. Complete the circle. Call 1-800-2-RECYCLE for your free shopping guide. Environmental Defense, finding the ways that work. All right, all you hard thinkers out there, are you ready to hear the answer? Leon, what city on planet Earth is visible from outer space? Why, it's the city with the most bright lights and Elvis sightings, 
Las Vegas. Las Vegas, quality city. I've been there. I suggest you all go sometime. Let's go back for round number one. All right, everybody, welcome back to Brainwash. We got three crazy, zany contestants ready to give this show a little bit of kick, a little bang. So I know I'm excited. Bo's excited. Everybody's excited here. So go over the rules real quick. Uh, Bo's going to ask a question. Obviously, you have to buzz in to answer. You have 10 seconds to answer it. Um, if you get it wrong, then somebody else can answer it. Let's see what else. We have judges back there in the back, plus me and Bo will do a little bit of collaboration and we'll decide if your answer is proper or not, if we'll accept it. Let's see, what else do we have? Okay, all the correct answers are worth 10 big points. And if you get it wrong, it's minus nothing. Oh, yes. So, any confusion there, guys? No? Great. Bo, are we ready to start round one? To all right, before we start today, I just want to say that. Pizza Hut is bringing brainwash to you once again, so go out and enjoy a Pizza Hut pizza. All right, we got five different categories for you today. The first one is real trivia, which has to do with MTV's real world. The next one is who wants to win a toaster? That is about game shows. And the third one is to be or not to be Shakespearean trivia. Then we have where have all the cowboys gone and around Athens. I'm going to start us off with the real questions. You guys watch Real World? Yes. There you go. Kind of. All right. While Boston cast member, which Boston cast member met her boyfriend, Walter, on a trip to Europe? Jason. Freddy. Jason? Freddy. Is it Freddy? No, it's not Freddy. Oh. Puck? Know. Puck? No. <laughs> the answer is Elka. Elka was the answer. How long? Wasn't New York like the original this one? Boston. This was Boston. Oh, Boston. Puck was on <laughs> San Francisco. That wasn't that big. Yeah. <laughs> I've only seen like two years partly of real I world. Haven't even so seen I haven't I thought it was Freddy. I, I don't get All right, guys. World, I'm going to go to Who Wants to Win a Toaster? The Showcase Showdown is the final round of what game show? Nick. Uh, the Price is Right. The Price is Right is correct. Nick, that means you can pick the category. Um, how about... Do you want to go around Athens? Uh, where have all around the cowboys? All Athens. right, around Athens. Who is currently the mayor of Athens? President Keith. Clinton. Who? President Clinton. I'm sorry, that's wrong. Anyone? Anyone? Abel. Abel. Rick Abel is correct. He got the last name. That was a tough question. We'll give it to him. You know, all right, where do you want to go? We got to be or not to be. Uh, who wants to win a toaster? Where uh, have to all be or not to be. To be or not to be. To be what? what was the name where sh what was the name of the town where Shakespeare was born? Go ahead. Stratford on Avon. Stratford upon Avon is correct. Good job. All right, Keith, where do you want to go? Doctor J, where do you want to go? Uh, I would like to go to the real world. The, the real, real world. All right. What was the real world Boston's house originally used for? Keith again. A fire, fire house. A fire house is correct. You know your real world trivia, don't you? Uh, well, it's hard. I watch a lot of 76ers. Oh, there you go. And yeah. that, and, th and that equates and to fire houses. Sometimes I watch a picture in a picture. Okay. <laughs> Keith. Keith, smart. Where do you want to go, pal? Um. Uh, to be or not to be. To be or not to be. What was the name of William Shakespeare's wife? <laughs> Nick. Um. Mm. Anne Hathaway. <laughs> Anne Hathaway is correct. Your grandma would be proud, Nick. Your grandma would be proud. They're the same age. <laughs> They're the same age? <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're about as far as part of the story. All right, <laughs> Nick, where do you want to go, pal? Um, how about who wants to win a toaster? Who wants to win a toaster? All right. Ooh. Help control the pet population and have your pets spayed or neutered. Price is right. Price is right is correct. Bob Barker would be proud of you. I watch that show every day. Oh, do you? Yeah. All good. right, man. He skips class for it. Oh. <laughs> Bob Barker looks like a wax, though. He's yeah, he does. For the show. I think, <laughs> I think he is old. half wax. The models All right, look Jason, where do you want to head to? 
Uh, the same thing. The same thing. All right. Rockapella sings the theme, the theme song to what computer game? Go Where ahead. in the world is Carmen San Diego? Hey, I, I didn't have to yes. say that question. I love that song. You know what, Jay? I, I think it's the socks. Can we get a close up of Nick's socks? There we go. I think that's what's helping you out, man. Nick. Or Jason's socks. You know, they all got nice socks. I don't See? have socks on. All right. Oh, thank you. Whatever. Where, where do you guys want to go? Um, we would like to, to go to. Um, Jamaica. What the Cowboys? The Cowboys. Where have all the Cowboys gone? All right. What service delivered documents and important messages during the time of the Old West? Nick. The Pony Express. The Pony Express is correct. That. We, do we have time for one more? No, we don't. All right. That is the end of round one. Uh, stay tuned. Jen's going to read the scores and the new rules for round two. Brainwash. We'll be right back. Coming at you. See ya. guys, I'm here with Amy from Habitat for Humanity, which is a great organization and everybody should get involved. And she has our next brain teaser. How many grooves on the edge of a quarter? Grooves on the edge of a quarter. Hmm. You guys think about that and we'll be right back with the answer. Jackie Joyner Kersey, nothing gets in her way. Not growing up poor. Not hurdles not asthma. I don't let anything get in the way of my goals. Are asthma symptoms slowing you down? Call toll-free 1-877-4-ALL-STAR for a free asthma information kit. So speak to me like the wind outside. It's broken up. Sadly, two-thirds of it is gone, forever. This is Robert Redford asking you to help us keep the rest free. A message from the Wilderness Society and the National BLM Wilderness Campaign. Okay, did everybody have time to sit and actually count? Amy, how many grooves are on the edge of a quarter? 119. 119. Now, you all got 119 right, because I did. Let's go back to the studio for round number two. Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainwash. Jen and Bo coming at you. We just completed our first exciting, exciting round. It ended up with Jason here on the board with 10. Great job. At least Thanks. you're on there. Thank you. Uh, Keith is Hi, just Grandma. slightly farther ahead with 30 points, but Taking the slight, slight lead, we got Nick. All right, great job in first round, guys. Anything can happen in the second round, though, because uh, all the rules are the same, but the points are now worth 20. Every question is worth 20 points. And if you get it wrong, it's minus 10. Uh, a little tricky, a little scarier, intimidating, <laughs> but hey, I have confidence, you guys. Bo, take us away. Round two, you boys ready? We got same category, same question, so. I'll start us off with the cowboy, the Old West theme. In what town was the OK Corral located in? Go Tombstone. ahead. What did you say? Tombstone. Tombstone? That is correct. That wasn't his first answer. That's a movie. I need, I need a rule. Yeah, okay. It is a movie. That's a movie. All right. Where, where would you like to go, Jason? Hawaii. Hawaii? Uh, besides that. Um, How about around Athens? Oh, I, I, That's not a very easy That's not good for me. I'm a freshman. All right. What was the one we just did? That was the uh, Old West theme. I'm going to go with Old West. See Old West know. theme coming again. Who was credited with killing Billy the Kid? Kind of a tough one. Pat Garrett. Holy moly. Oh he pulls God. that one out of his lasso. Woo. No, Young Guns is my favorite movie. Now, nice. Uh, Whoa. Pretty good, man. I want to see you on a horse riding around campus here in uh, 
in the I'm next week or so. I'm sticking with the West. The West sticking with Cowboys? Time. Here we go. What is Billy the Kid's real name? William H. Bonney. Oh. William H. Bonney is correct. Wow. God, give this kid a cowboy hat. New category. Uh, Dolph, 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 Dolph. Where do you want to go? Unfair. Who wants to win a toaster? Who wants to win a toaster? Okay. All right. What is the name of the game show in which contestants try to avoid whammies? Go ahead. Press your luck. Press your luck is correct. Dr. J, coming out of the box again. You know your game shows, don't you? Yes. That used that to show. be my favorite. Where yeah, do you want to go? That was a sad, sad day when that show was gone. Yeah. I would like to go to favorite. Around Athens. Around Athens. Here we go. It's a sophomore cheating. Which fast food restaurant on Court Street is the largest in the country? Again, we have Keith. Taco Bell. Taco Bell is correct. Where would you like to go? Um, uh, who wants to win a toaster? All right. Game shows once again. Here we go. What is the maximum dollar amount in a single Jeopardy question? Nick. $500. $500. Nick, it's on the board in round two. Nice. Nick, it's up to you, man. Oh, uh, to be or not to be. Is to be or not to be Shakespearean trivia. Help. What is the name of the Prince of Aragon in Shakespeare's comedy, Much Ado About Nothing? Anyone? Oh, Don Pedro. Holy moly, we got some smart guests today. Over there. Oh my God. Oh my God. You guys actually study. <laughs> Nick's grandma helped pieces of Nick's, Nick's you, Nick's grandma helped you guys out before the show? Alright, we're gonna get more often. We're gonna go, man. Um, easy on the eyes. How about the West? <laughs> the what? The West one? The West. Alright. That uh, that's Jason's that's favorite one, man. That's one he's gonna Jesse say. and Frank James fought on which side during the Civil War? Confederate. The Confederacy is correct. Man, Dr. J wow, is coming on strong. Know that one. Had to be one 50, or the other. 50, 50, 50, 50. All right, man, where would you like to go? I would like to go to uh, uh, TV. Uh, I want to I be a toaster. You want to be a toaster? All right. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to win a toaster? Yeah, but I want to be a toaster. Who is the host of Wheel of Fortune? Oh, that's Pat Sajak. Nick is right. It is Pat Sajak. <laughs> Don't get Sky and TV working with Vanna White. But you you know what, Jen? To I want to you're be better one. than Vanna White. <laughs> I want to be. She is, too. I am not just a sex object. Oh, you're right about <laughs> that. Vanna is a se sex object. I am more than that. That's true. That's you were true. Personality. You were just there supermodel you material. Victoria's <laughs> Secret. I can tell. Right. I look like a supermodel, don't I? You are Victoria's <laughs> Secret. Where would you guys like to go? Uh, Nick? Same thing. Uh, around <laughs> Athens. Around Athens. Around Athens, once again. Ohio University was founded in 1804. But what year did the university actually open? Uh, I judges? Die. I don't know. Middle. It was me. It was Jason? Yeah. All right. It was who? It was? It was Keith. Go ahead, Keith. It was Keith. 1808. Whoa. Where are, you guys, where are you guys learning this stuff? Oh, yeah. How did you know that? Honestly. Well, the first graduating class would have to be four years after it opened. There you go. In 1804, which I learned last year in class. It's the socks, I'm telling you. All right, okay, Keith. Enough. It's up to you, man. Where do you want to go? Um, I would like to do um, uh, TV shows. Do we have TV oh, shows? Not TV shows. Um, I shows? want to be a toaster. Oh, you want to be a toaster. All right. Who what is the win? name with a Nickelodeon game show in which contestants win by answering questions and performing tasks searching for flags and fake boogers? I think that was Nick. Go ahead. Um, Double Dare. Double Dare is correct. That is the end of round two. We're going to have the final score. Both challenges next. You stay tuned for Brainwash. We'll still be here. Coming back at you. All right, guys. We're back for our third and final question. I have Mike, Adam, and Mike here. And Adam is going to ask, okay? How fast does a sneeze travel out of a person's mouth? Yeah, I wonder how they measure things like that. So you guys sit and think about that. We'll be right back with the answer. There's more to the bus than meets the eye. He's quite the dancer. Ballet lessons, of course. He bowls a lot. Oh, yeah. It's all in the fingertips. And he has asthma. Here's another thing you might not know. Having asthma doesn't have to block you from doing 
anything you love. Here's my game plan. Control asthma symptoms before they get in the way. Are asthma symptoms slowing you down? Call toll-free 1-877-4-ALL-STAR for a free asthma information kit. Did I mention I bought 300 games? All right, guys, we're back for the answer. Mike, how fast does a sneeze travel out of your nose? <laughs> that felt like about 100 miles per hour. 100 miles an hour. All right. Thanks, guys. Mike, thanks for sitting looking pretty for us. Hi, I'm a Cancer. I like very, very tall girls. And we'll give his number out after the show. Let's go back for our third round. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to our exciting third round of Brainwash. Uh, the way our second round ended up, we had uh, Nick ended up with 120, so he's back. That's Keith, though, on the screen. Keith had 110. But we got Nick and Keith coming back to battle Bo for the Bo Challenge. Jason, back here, who has become my bodyguard, he ended up with 70, so he does not get to come back, but that's all right. Uh, everything for the uh, third round here is exactly the same type of rules. And hi. Uh. <laughs> Except the point values is everything worth 30, and if you get it wrong, it's minus 20. So let's go get started on the Jen, bow challenge. You're not going to jit me again this week, are you? I'm, I'll try not to. All that's right. why I have him to help me. All Does right. he start I'm with minus points that. for lack of outfit? There we go. Poor tire. No, no, we're not going to do that. I can pull my socks up. Oh, that is, that's it. All right. Uh, I think we're ready. All right, I guess we're going to get started Hit then us, right away. All right, guys. What state gave the federal government the land that became the District of Columbia? Ooh. Keith. Keith. Virginia. No. Ooh. Right. Maryland? <laughs> Maryland. It was Maryland. Oh. That's tricky. You do one or the other, you know? Okay. On The Honeymooners, what was Ralph Cramden's job? Oh, didn't watch that show. Go ahead. Lunch lady? No. Oh. Oh, no, nice I'm try. sorry. That was Anybody a good try. Anybody else? Guess. He was a bus driver. A bus driver. A I bus driver. The other good thing about that show, his wife was in charge. All right. That woman knew it was up. It was unrealistic. That's why it was a There you show. go. Uh-huh. Okay, can we give him <laughs> minus 10 for that sexist <laughs> comment right there, please? No, I'm just kidding. Don't Nick, do you that. Watch what you Don't say do that. I'm just watching. kidding. All right, guys. <laughs> Who wrote Journey to the Center of the Earth and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? H.G. Wells? No, oh. it was oh. not H.G. Wells. He did War of the Worlds. Yeah. There we go. The radio show. Guys, you know no? I'm okay. I don't know. I don't know it. Jules Verne. Jules Verne. That was actually ah. my guess, but really? I wasn't sure. Uh, I was like, oh, Gotta take risks sometimes. Yep. Try and win. All right. All right. <laughs> what does the term turkey mean in bowling? That means that you have just bowled three straight strikes. Three strikes oh. in a row. You bowl out, Keith? When I'm not watching the 76ers, I do bowl. <laughs> All right, man. But there's, not, there's no alley in my dorm. Do you still wear the, uh, the high socks when you bowl? Yes, and, and I would have worn my bowling shoes today, but I didn't think about it. Uh, yeah. I'm disappointed. Now. Okay, guys. All right, Jen. Let's Sorry. focus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who was Becky Thatcher's boyfriend? Uh, Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer. And for 10 bonus points, who was Tom Sawyer's best friend in the world? It's, it's, it's mine, right? Yes. Uh, who oh, is Huckleberry uh, Finn? It was Huck Finn. She just gives out that two bonus points. I didn't get a bonus yeah. point. I answered. I asked him if he, could, if he could get it right, he would get bonus. It was only 10. Let's it's try to stay like focused. Wow. Not, let's stay like focused, Jen. Focus. All right, let's get another question. What organ is between the stomach and the diaphragm on the left side of the abdomen? The kidney. Sorry, Bo. The liver? No. Um, Sorry. I do not know about we my insides. Know. They are all gone. We don't know, Jen. It's the spleen. Oh. The spleen. The damn spleen. <laughs> no anatomies or future doctors in this group. No, no, no. Thank no. God. I would not recommend no biology once again. Okay. Be. What city did Dick Clark's American Bandstand start in? Nick. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Whoa. Whoa, big Nick. Yeah. You like 
you like Mr. Clark? I found some VH1, so. Oh, yeah. Uh, there you yeah, go. Sure. Okay. All right, Jen. Sports question. What is the name of Bill Clinton's secretary? Oh. Tricky. I know. When you think Bill Clinton, <laughs> I know what name you're thinking of. I know who was playing as secretary. <laughs> I know his intern's name. I do not know. That's no. bonus points? Betty Curie. Oh, oh. Betty Curie. Mm -hmm. See, it's from I had a good time with Betty. Mm -hmm. That's how it always mm -hmm. happens. That's Ooh, true. I love this guy. What Russian dancer defected to the U.S. in 1974? Russian dancer? He was a ballet dancer. Mikhail Brishnikov? Is that you that rang in? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to chip you again like you did last week. Yeah, I just wanted now, to be right sure answer? there. Was that a right answer? Yeah, I was right. Dance that should be minus points for knowing that. Right. <laughs> Why? I know my All ballet. Right. <laughs> That's unfair. Let's ask. Ooh, no. Sports. Hey, cool. Just pick one, Jen. <laughs> Just grab okay. one and pick one, girl. Come yeah. on now. Who is Dick Tracy's girlfriend in the comic strip? Oh. His girlfriend. Come on, guys. I don't know. I know, I know Roger Rabbits. No. Tess Trueheart. Oh, old uh, Tess. Guys, I'm <laughs> I thought severely they broke up. disappointed. Severely. Is that it? Are we done yeah. with the game? I think we're... One more. Unless I could ask one quick question. One okay, more. where was Lyndon B. Johnson sworn in as president? After the assassination of JFK, where was he sworn in at? I don't know that one either. He was sworn in on the airplane, Air Force One. Oh, I did Nobody know that. Nobody got that. Yeah. That's the end of the time. round. They're going to tally up the scores, and we'll find out who won. So you just stay tuned. We'll be back in like two seconds. Ten. All right, guys, the results are in. Bo, on the board with 10. Keith, also on the board with 10. But Nick, Nick was the big winner with hey, 20 points. Hey, Nick wins. Nick's the big Way winner. to go, Nick. All yeah. right. Great show, go, guys. Nick. Exciting. Bring back. Nick, Nick, same time, same place.